Hello everyone, my name is Mr. Hurricane, welcome to the Desmond Payne Road to the Show, episode number 31. The season is beginning to wind down, just about a month to go for Desmond Payne and the Texas Rangers, who have lately gotten themselves into the wild card race. They're probably not going to be able to catch the Los Angeles Angels, they're over 10 games up, but they are... Definitely in the wild card hunt now and looking to get above 500. Here is Desmond Payne advancing from first to third after his single earlier. Can they bring him home for the game's first run? Grounder to second, Altuve to the bag, and they turn two. And Payne again is not driven in. So let's jump ahead. One nothing Texas, bottom three, two on and two out for Desmond Payne. Trying to come through with another big hit, but misses the fastball there to make the count one and two. And then sits back, lifts one down, left field line going opposite field, but it's caught by Evan Gaddis. And we'll jump forward, it's now 4-0 Texas. They're getting the runs going without Desmond Payne's help, and they're pitching a shutout. But here Desmond Payne gets hit. I feel like we've seen a lot of these this season. That's his seventh time being hit. This time near the elbow. Payne's all right, but you guys know the rules here. You have to take off to steal when you get hit like that. But a line drive ends the inning, and Payne doesn't get a steal. Let's go ahead. Houston on the board. Four to two as Payne lifts one deep to left. Gaddis goes back and sits underneath to make the catch. We continue to see those glimpses of power from Desmond Payne. This time the Texas Rangers are victorious and will jump forward. Look at Payne's average the last eight games. Most of those are infield singles, keep in mind. But here he's trying to go deep to center. Watching that one fly back, but that's also caught. These are really solid swings. They look good off the bat. Six to one now, Texas. Bases loaded for Desmond Payne. Big RBI opportunity. He sits back, rounding through the middle. Slow roller, one run scores, the second coming home, and Payne has a two run single. Finally, he comes through with the bases loaded. It feels like it's been a while since that's happened. Eight to one, Texas. Grounder to deep short. Altuve makes the throw as Payne slides in, and they only get one out. But on this play right here, for the first time, Desmond Payne was injured. He complained of leg pain after that slide into the bag. So he had to be removed. And we're going to see here with the trainers, Payne limping off the field. It doesn't appear to be serious, but I've never seen Payne get hurt before. We're in the playoff race here. So I was like, what's going on? The Rangers win this game. They're now above 500, and Payne returned the very next game. I thought he might miss a few, but thankfully, he actually misses more games when he's just tired. So Payne's back out there trying to extend his 10-game hitting streak. And we'll see him here against the Seattle Mariners. Two on in the first inning, trying to get that average back to 300. one out count. Payne sits back, grounder to first. One out, and a fielder's choice. So can Payne steal second here? He is going for it. And there's the throw. Payne takes it successfully, putting two runners in scoring position. Can they get on the board here early? The 1-1 pitch is grounded to second, and that is it for the inning. Let's jump ahead. Payne batting once again. Seattle leading 2-1 as that one hits him. Is Payne getting hit by pitches more than like the average player does? I think that was actually his seventh. I think I miscounted. But with the bases loaded, a tapper, they get the play at home, and Franco doubled up at first. Taiwan Walker gets out of the jam again, but later in the game, Texas got their runs. It's 4-3, to three. and Payne wanted some more. He grounds one up the middle. They attempt the throw, not even close, so Payne has another single, extending his hitting streak to 11, and then a little inside-out swing here, and with the third baseman charging, just go ahead and take third base there, Desmond. He's in scoring position again. Can he be brought home this time? Franco lifts one deep. Going back, and it's over the head of the left fielder. Payne scores on a slight jog home. And the Rangers end up with a victory this game. 6-4 to four over the Seattle Mariners. Payne one for four, and we will continue on. Again, Seattle with the early lead, but Desmond Payne has two aboard, one down in the third. 
Check out this curveball right on the outside corner as Payne looks at the first strike. And then swings and misses at a curveball for the second strike. Will the pitcher try that again? No, he won't! Desmond Payne with a deep drive to right center for a home run! A three-run shot on a pitch left up. I'm not even sure if that was going to be in the zone. But Payne jumps on it. And is that his first home run as a right-handed hitter? I believe it is. Correct me if I'm wrong. But let's check this out again. 402 feet for his sixth home run of the year. That one into like the third or fourth row. Here's the next at bat for Payne in the fifth inning. And he wants to do the same thing but just pops one up into the infield. And that is out. Later in the game, Payne now batting as a lefty in the seventh. Texas up by four. And Payne hits a single through the middle. We're seeing much better contact this episode. Not so many infield singles, but I still want to see his speed on display. Taking off and stealing second. He's successful once again. He made it to third with two down. And Texas brought him in. A base hit to left scores Desmond Payne to increase the Texas lead. Two for four on the day, seven to one. We go to the ninth inning. One more at bat for Desmond Payne, and he sends one way back to left center. Crushing this home run into the upper deck. A two home run game, but this time, one as a righty, one as a lefty. Desmond Payne hits his seventh homer of the season, and he's getting closer to my prediction that he would hit 10 this year. 419 feet longer than his one as a righty. I'm thinking maybe next year he becomes a guy who can really hit a ton of RBIs if this power can keep up. That pitch about middle in, and Payne again, opposite field. That's his game right there. Two opposite field homers here at both sides of the plate. Three for five day. You guys know he's the player of the game after a performance like that. Who else can you give it to? Payne coming through clutch against the Seattle Mariners, another team in the wild card race. And speaking of the wild card race, check out who is there at the top, right below the New York Yankees, tie for the second spot. The Rangers are in place for a playoff position if they can just maintain this. Here's a new series against the LA Angels, and Payne puts one into right center, but that is caught. Later in the game, LA up by one, two on, and nobody out, however. And Payne swings that one outside the zone for the first strike. Then the 0-1 runs inside. It's a wild pitch, and both runners advance. Two in scoring position here for Desmond Payne. He is ready, but the pitcher decides, let's go to the next guy. Desmond Payne gets the intentional walk treatment because they saw what happened in the prior game. So bases get loaded for Carlos Corporan as the Rangers look to at least tie this game. And he grounds one to first, one out, and Corporan is out as well as Payne tripped up Eric Ibar here. Take a second look at it. Is this a dirty slide by Desmond Payne? Let me know in the comments. Is Desmond Payne a dirty player? Texas added a few more runs. The next inning, it's 4-1. to one. Payne up again trying to extend his hitting streak. And they walk him again. Just a man on second, two down. Desmond Payne gets his second straight intentional walk. Not only is Payne displaying the power, but pitchers are respecting it. Next batter grounds to second and is retired to end the inning. So a smart move this time to walk Desmond Payne. And the Rangers win this game against the Angels as well. Payne's hitting streak is over at 12, but there should be a rule. Like, if you could intentionally walk twice, you should get another chance the next game. But the hit streak resets for Desmond Payne. Back to zero. Seventh inning here against the Angels, trying to help Texas mount a comeback. Payne falls behind. 0-2, oh, and, and that slider nearly runs in to hit him for the eighth time. And here's Payne nearly getting one down the line as he's battling back. It's a 2-2 count. And inside out down the line... It gets down, and Payne wants two bases. He's running for second, but thrown out. I thought that was actually safe, but I guess the tag was in there just in time, so the aggressiveness doesn't pay off for Payne, but Texas still got some runs later. Three to three in the eighth. Another intentional walk, everybody, although with an empty base at first, it's not a bad idea to walk Desmond Payne there. 
Will a decision pay off this time? Two outs in the inning. And it's a fly ball to right. Just a lazy fly. And they get out of the inning. The Angel strategy pays off there, and they get the victory in this game. Payne goes one for three, and the Angels win five to three. So let's go to the last game of the episode, 72 and 71. It's game three against LA, trying to take the series here. And Payne is a little late on that pitch. He gives a fan a souvenir, then the one, two. And Payne has another one fouled back. He's close to squaring up on these, and then strikes out, swinging on the changeup in a great location just outside the corner. Let's go to the sixth. one nothing Texas, as Payne follows another one off, that time a changeup. Then the 0-1, and there's a breaking ball. Payne into left field. It's extra bases down the line. This time, there won't be a throw to get him out. Payne with a double. And let's take a look at this one. I always have liked watching hits like this. When I was a kid, I liked watching doubles down the line. And there is Desmond Payne's latest. Can they bring him in for the second run? Two outs and a soft tapper back to the pitcher. And that is out number three. We'll move ahead. A 1-0 game. It remained into the eighth. Two on for Desmond Payne as he misses that changeup despite good timing. And then I decided, let's try one of these Showtime perks. Have the runners take off, let's see what Payne can do. Well, he strikes out again, and they easily throw the runner out at third. That was the big risk there, a strike him out, throw him out. But it didn't matter. Texas won this game 1-0 thanks to an excellent start by you, Darvish. And their road to the playoffs is looking pretty good right now. Desmond Payne batting 296, he tacks on a couple more homers in today's episode. And in the wildcard race, the Rangers have actually fallen behind a little bit. The Royals won a few games in a row, and the Mariners are good competition there, but the Rangers don't play the Mariners anymore this season. So I'm not sure there will be any big head-to-head -head series to close out this season, but there are only a few weeks left to go, and very soon we'll know if Desmond Payne and the Texas Rangers are going to the playoffs, but right now they have a chance. And earlier this year, we did not think this would be happening. So, we'll check in next time with Desmond Payne and the Rangers in episode number 32. Thank you all for watching today's video. If you enjoyed, please leave a like. I really appreciate it. And subscribe for more Desmond Payne Road to the Show to come. I will see you guys in the next episode. Have a great day.